Hello guys, it's game time here from Gaming RCs, and today we'll be discussing how Unity's new download prices will affect Gorilla Tag and other VR games. All of the MetaQuest released so far, and what I think next week Gorilla Tag update will be. So, if you didn't hear, Unity's gonna be charging 20 cents per download on games made on Unity, and there's a lot of drama about it, but it's not as bad as you may think. A lot of people didn't research it very far and assume every Unity game will require a charge of 20 th cents for every download, which would bankrupt a lot of large game studios. But that's only when using Unity's free version. Yes, this may affect smaller developers a lot, but for your favorite big games, they won't be affected much. Gorilla Tag pulled over 26 million US dollars while still in App Lab. To make sure you know, that's not the profit amount. That is just how much they made in Shiny Rock sales while being in App Lab. Gorilla Tag most likely uses the Pro or Enterprise versions of Unity, so it only costs them around 6 to 7 cents for every download. Most other large VR games, such as VR Chat and Rec Room, use the same plans on Unity, so they pay around the same price. Now let's dive right into the Quest 3 link so far. I may miss some because I'm not perfect, I can't see all the information, but if I miss anything, comment down below. So there have been a lot of Quest 3 leaks recently, including specs, release date, and some accessories too. Let's start with the specs and price. The 256 gigabyte model of the headset will be 500 US dollars. The 512 gigabyte model is rumored to be 6 to 700 US dollars. The CPU is going to be the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip. The second generation of the XR2 chip used by in the MetaQuest 2 right now. The 256 gigabyte model is rumored to have 8 gigabytes RAM, with the 512 gigabyte model rumored to have 12. The headset will have LCD panels with a 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye resolution. The refresh rate hertz of the headset will still be 120 hertz, just like the Quest 2. It will work with all your Quest 2 games, so don't worry. The headset will also have full color pass through with a depth sensor that will make augmented reality look even better. Now let's get into accessories. Remember, these are estimated prices because of the leaked prices being in euros or pounds. I don't know which one's which, but I will be using the USD because I'm American. The Elite Strap with battery pack will cost around 150 US dollars. The carrying case should be around 60 to 70 dollars, with the filling cover being around 30 to 40 ish dollars. I can't really confirm anything. The biggest change by far will be the size. The headset without the facial interface is 40% smaller, which is a huge difference. Next, let's talk about the Grill Tech update that's coming out next Friday. With the Back to School update leaving, the obvious guess is for the Halloween update to come out. The update will most likely bring back the spooky map changes and some new Halloween cosmetics. This will be our first update with two flashback sales at the same time. I also plan the stream on that day, so make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss that. I know I didn't say this in the intro, but we yeah, had something else. It's still Grill Tech related. Next Saturday will also be VR VR, where over 250,000 people are going to get on Gorilla Tag to hopefully break a VR world record of the most concurrent players. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.